Hello, this is Jonathan. I'm your project manager uh, for Hidden Homes. Uh, we're here at your uh, lovely new new construction. Uh, we're going to do a free drywall uh, walk with you guys, and hopefully, I can answer all your questions. Uh, so we're we're here at the sidewalk. We're going to start with uh, with your irrigation box. This right here is your irrigation box. So here at Canyon Meadows, uh, we do have uh, pressurized irrigation and also uh, city water. Uh, so this is for your sprinklers. Um, and you can also connect, you're gonna be able to connect the hose. So just in case you wanna uh, like wash your car, stuff like that, you're gonna be able to uh, connect to your pressurized irrigation supply. Right here is your city uh, water meter. Um, it goes to your house right here. Right here we have an electrical transformer box. Um, and this is a uh, this box right here for your telecommunication box. So telecommunications electrical transformer. And those are in the front yard. In the front yard. Correct. Cool. Okay, so right here. Uh, we're going to install your uh, electrical uh, meter. Um, it's not run yet, but it will be. Um, this right here is going to be where your um, gas uh, meter is going to be. Uh, you got your, your gas going in the house and your gas meter right here. These guys are for your, uh, your internet uh, cable. Uh, it's a cap 5 uh, wire um, and these are all home run throughout the house. What does home run mean? So home run means that it's not spliced. So uh, so the, that's why you have multiple so each one goes all the way to one end without being spliced. Cool. So the internet and the and uh, TV people can hook up there, and it goes straight into the house. They don't have to add any extra wires, right? Correct. Cool. Although they're going to probably say that yes, we're going to run new wire. Tell them no, because this is all home run to to each uh, unit. Perfect. Go. Right here is your main electrical panel. Uh, so you got your. It's going to be covered. You got your cover right here that's going to go on. Uh, you got your breakers. And they're all going to be, well, they're all nice and labeled. So if you ever have a issue, and let's say with the fireplace, you can come down here, look at the fireplace, uh, which is going to be uh, breaker number uh, five. And you can turn it off. go to uh, this uh, outlet right here this is a it's in the garage so it's gonna it is GFCI protected this one right here is the for your gas your gas meter that we talked about it's on the other side of the wall once once installed so it comes in up and it goes up to your furnace um, so you got this pipe right here something to keep in mind um, that this when you when drywall is up um, this will when you use a, the uh, stub detector it will beep so it's kind of important to know where it's at. it's going to be in the middle of these two outlets right there um, so approximately 29 30 inches from the second outlet and move on to your man door. Uh, this uh, switch right here is going to control your exterior light. And right in this cavity right here is going to be your uh, your water heater. Um, that is a gas uh, water heater. So you got your your gas line right here with your shut off valve, and your it's going to be vented out uh, to your roof. So right here, your water heater. Go. Okay, so this right here is your water softener loop. So it's uh, it goes throughout your home except the refrigerator and exterior uh, faucets. Uh, so if you decide later on to add a water softener, 
uh, that's where they're going to hook it up. Uh, we use Prime Plumbing. They have the best price in town, so if you do use them, decide to use them, um, they'll do a good job for us with you. Yeah. Um, let's go on right here. We've got another another outlet right here. This is your entry to your home. The light uh, switch right here for your two garage lights. You got your uh, door chime, chime right here. Uh, and you also have uh, your outlet for your garage door opener. It's going to be mounted right here and connected to that outlet. Talking about garage door, uh, you got your, your wire right here for your sensors. So those are the sensors for your garage door, um, one on each side. You got the two exterior lights on each side, so one light right there and other light. Right here. right here is your attic access. Um, you have you're gonna have the light up there, so there's a switch uh, for your light. So uh, that's gonna turn that light up, and you also gonna have an outlet. So just in case uh, they need to work on the furnace, uh, they have an outlet right there and a light uh, that it can be used. Go. Okay, we're here in front of your home. Uh, in front of your home, you got a exterior um, uh, hose power or hose bib. Uh, the cool thing about these whole hose bibs that they're frost-free hose bibs, so um, it goes it goes all the way inside uh, the wall. And we can show you once we're there. Um, so there's no need to put like a cover um, uh, during the winter because no need for that. Um, also, you got a front light uh, right there and I'm you got a outlet right here all in your front door we're inside your new home right here we got a switch uh, right in the front entry you're gonna have two two switches one will control your lights outside um, and the other switch will control your lights here in the hallway also here in the hallway you got a, a smoke alarm uh, will go right there um, and then you got an HVAC, HVAC vent uh, right here also by your door this is, your front entry. This is bedroom number two uh, next to the entry um, so this is the the water uh, spigot that we talked about earlier um, so this is the, the frost free so as you notice there's a valve right all the way inside your home where it's nice and warm in the, in the, in the winter So instead of turning it the valve uh, Outside it will turn inside right here. So you don't have to worry about uh, putting the insulation box uh, in the winter um, You also will notice here. We got the the loop here so that helps for it to drain um, the drainage so um, It doesn't doesn't freeze uh, right here is uh, an outlet switch for your light fixture and you got one two three uh, outlets here in this room nice big closet right there with uh, your two windows and your HVAC vent and also you got another smoke detector right here and another vent right there another too yep. yep we're inside your uh hall bath bathroom uh on right here you got your switch so you got a switch for your vanity light right there um you also have an outlet and uh you got your water supply for your, your, your sink and your water supply for your toilet. Uh, and all this are at some vents. Uh, you got your, your tub and shower kit. Uh, with, and this also has one light that controls right there, right here. So you got two switches, one for your, for your vanity and one for your, 
the back light. Uh, you got your exhaust fan right here, and you also have an HVAC vent. And then do you want to go over this plumbing right there? Yes. So you got your water, hot water uh, supply. You got your cold water supply for your sink. Okay, and the white tubes are? This tube right here is um, your discharge uh, tube. So water goes out. So water goes in, water goes out. And then cool. it vents out. Perfect. Outside your hall bath, we got a closet right here inside this closet uh, are two very important things uh, first one is your crawl space access uh, so uh, our construction our is our eye joist right here that go this way um, and this is your access to your crawl space um, pretty pretty good size uh, you're about almost three feet uh, deep right there uh, and the second important thing is your shut off valve. So this valve right here shut off all of your water inside the, your home. So if you ever have a leak anywhere in your home, first thing you want to come is turn off your valve right there. That will control all water throughout your home. So we'll have it a nice little uh, cover right there for you. So that's it's easy uh, for you. Go. Okay, so this is uh, bedroom number three or the metal bedroom. Um, right here, you got your switch for your light fixture right there. Uh, above you is another a smoke detector. And you got one, two, three, four outlets in this bedroom. Um, you got your HVAC vent right here. And above this, you'll see these two tubes, two pipes. So this pipe right here that goes down is your primary condensation line. Uh, the second one right here that goes out above the window is your secondary uh, line, condensation line for your furnace and AC. Uh, so this right here, Oh, uh, it's above the window window for a purpose. So if you ever see water in your window on a nice hot summer like today, uh, that means that something's going on with your furnace and that means you give a warranty uh, department call to get it fixed ASAP. Outside your uh, middle uh, bedroom, you got this pipe right here, which is a gas pipe. Uh, it's approximately one, one 13 inches from your door. Um, again, just want to make sure there, uh, if you run a stud detector, that will beep. Um, so it just, yeah, it's about, about 13 inches away from your door. That goes to your furnace. You got your light right over the Go. Here we're here in your hallway. Uh, first, we'll talk about this uh, main uh, air return for your, uh, your HVAC. It does take a 20 by 20 air filter. Moving down here is where your um, thermostat's gonna be mounted. You got a uh, two switches right here, switch for your hallway and a switch for your kitchen. Go ahead. We're inside the kitchen right here. Um, so we'll talk about the pantry first. We've got a nice big pantry right here. Moving on, your refrigerator. We'll set right here. Uh, you got uh, your water supply for your refrigerator. Uh, goes right there and your uh, plug for your refrigerator, your outlet. Uh, you're gonna have counters, countertop right here. Uh, next, you got, you got your uh, range. We'll set right here. Uh, this box right here is uh, where your microwave that's gonna be right here and the cool thing about this is that we vent directly outside uh, through the through the wall um, so that uh, gets you this upper cabinet right here uh, you'll have the space usable space because you won't have that big uh, tube going up it's because we go 
straight out with our uh, vent for our microwave. Uh, you got <clears throat> plenty of outlets uh, to connect your your uh, coffee and whatever you want to do there. Spit it out. Appliances. <laughs> Appliances. There we go. Okay, so. <laughs> and then they should have another switch there. This this switch right here will control your um, dining light. Right there. And you got a switch like that. And also we'll talk about the lights that you have here in the kitchen. You'll have one, two, three, and four lights. Right here is your island. Um, so this, the yellow cord right here is for your uh, power for your dishwasher. Dishwasher will go here. Your sink will go here. You've got a hot and cold uh, for your, your water supply lines. This third one is for your water softener if you decide to add it in the future. You've got uh, this right here. This is the drain. Uh, you've got one and two outlets. Um, here on your island, bottom one's always hot, and that's going to be for your, uh, your disposal. Uh, this one right here is the other outlet, the second outlet here in the island. Here in your dining room. So in your dining room, you got this, uh, this lighting glass door. So most people, uh, at the, if you want to add a doggy, doggy door, the perfect place would probably be on this side, left side of the door, um, about right there, because right here you got, you got a, uh, this one is an outlet, or a switch for your exterior, and an outlet for your uh, interior, so you got power there. Um, we already talked about the light and the uh, HVAC vent right here, this switch, will control your exterior light. Okay. On right here, you got another outlet. And nice, beautiful fireplace. Um, something to note here on the fireplace, uh, here you have this Smurf tubing. Um, so that's a pre-wire for your entertainment system. Um, so uh, you'll be able to connect the cables and go in there and come out through here. Um, also, you have an outlet for your TV um, and a switch right there for your fireplace. And what's that tube right there? So your fireplace will be gas. Um, so this is a gas uh, shot off valve right there. So we'll valve turn off the, the fireplace yes on the left of your fireplace uh we got an outlet um right here you got this uh, exterior backyard frost free hose bin uh, and it also has this uh, nice loop right here we talked about earlier and yeah it will be the frost -free. it's a frost free so you don't have to worry about the being insulated in the, in the winter um you got another outlet right there outlet and you got a couple of switches right here that will control your lights for your living room and you got one two three four and five five lights so here in the middle of the living room, that this one is pre-wired for a ceiling fan, um, which we control right here. So you got three. Uh, one will be for your fan speed. The other one will be for your lights, and the third one will be for your half hot uh, outlets. So um, I want to say two of them are going to be. Um, have hots, uh, which means that you're going to be able to control the outlets through a switch. And it'd be the, the, um, the upper outlet. 
We're inside your laundry room. In your laundry room, you got your washer box. Inside your washer box, you got your cold, your hot, your cold, your drain. This right here is your drain for your water softener. Um, so it will drain right there. Uh, you got you, you have an outlet, outlet, and this one's your dryer uh, vent. You got an exhaust fan, a light fixture, and you got your switch right here. One will be for your light, and one will be for your exhaust fan. One other kind of cool thing about this area is this will actually be fully insulated um, for sound. Just so that way you don't hear your washer and dryer when you're watching TV. We're inside your primary bedroom. Uh, right here to your right of the door. You got your switch. Your switch will control your, uh, your light right here. So this one is also pre-wired for a ceiling fan. Uh, so if, uh, after closing, you want to add a ceiling fan. Uh, it's already pre-wired uh, and ready to go right there. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven outlets uh, in this bedroom. You got your uh, smoke alarm. And So we got another HVAC vent right there, and then that one to the side there is your fresh air intake. So that's how your furnace breathes. Then right here, this corner of your primary bedroom, you got two wires. You got your cable wire, and you got your fiber wire for, uh, this can be used for, you know, phone or internet, ethernet. Um, so it'll be right here on that, that box right there. Go. Right here, we're, we're on your primary uh, bathroom. Uh, and here you got uh, two closets. So closet number one, closet number two. Um, each closet will have a light. So you got your switch right here for your light fixture. And switch right here for your light as well on, on this closet. Also, you got a light switch for your hall right there. Um, this one is your primary uh, crawl space axis. So this guy will have a handle, the other one won't. Okay, moving on. We're, we're inside the bathroom. Um, you have a dual sinks, uh, sink number one, sink number two. You got your water supply, your hot and cold, hot and cold right there. Um, you got an outlet, you got two light fixtures, uh, one and two, and the lights will turn right here. So one switch will be for your light, and the other switch will be for your exhaust uh, fan, which does vent outside. Uh, cool thing about this, that you also have a light over the shower. Um, so that's, that's pretty neat. Uh, you got your shower, fiberglass shower uh, kit right here. Um, down here, you got this room. Uh, you got your, your toilet and your water supply for your toilet with, uh, with the window, exhaust fan, light, light switch will be controlled right here and the other switch will control your, your uh, um, exhaust vent. You also have a HVAC vent inside this, this room and also in the, right there in your bathroom in your backyard um, right here we're gonna have a 10 by 10 10 concrete pad just off your sliding uh, door right here um, you got an outlet steering outlet with the cover um, the light steer light you have foundation vents um, throughout uh, you got a couple on each side uh, something to keep in mind um, during the, the summer you want to make sure they're open uh, to let air inside the crawl space and circulate uh, in the winter uh, some people close them uh, some people don't 
This is your fireplace cutout. Um, we're gonna have a vent right here, which will be installed later today uh, or tomorrow. But if, once fireplace is on, you don't want to touch it because it gets really hot. This foundation vent looks a little different, uh, and it's because you got your dryer vent. So this is this your dryer vent. We'll vent right here, and this side is your foundation vent. You got your exterior uh, hose bed we talked about. So on this side. They have a couple foundation vents. You got your man door. Down here, they have a little concrete pad right here, also. You got your light fixture right there. You'll, you'll notice this pipe is your foundation drain um, which goes all around and that this right here is perforated so if, 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 if water ever goes there it'll go inside the pipe and out to the street this is your uh, your sewer clean out uh, so you have, you'll have one right there and that's your sewer it goes out to the city <laughs> 